Struggling to market your spiritual business without compromising your core values? What if I told you it's possible to blend your spiritual principles with savvy marketing strategies and create a thriving and authentic business? Stay with me. I'll show you how to manifest success with Mystic Abundance Marketing. Hi, I'm Banatia. I create digital marketing content for spiritual entrepreneurs just like you. And today I'm sharing with you the secrets I discovered on my journey as a spiritual entrepreneur. Come with me. Hey. Mystic Abundance Marketing is about blending spiritual values with practical strategies. It's about authenticity, integrity, and yes, a little bit of magic. Your vibe attracts your tribe. So here are some key tips for spiritual alignment in audience building. One, authentic storytelling. Share your journey genuinely. For example, this is the first time I'm doing this outside while I'm going for my morning walks. And I ruminated on it for so long and I've decided that, you know what, let me just go ahead and do it. Number two, clarity in your message. Be crystal clear about your spiritual values and what you're offering. Foster a community. It's never too late to build a community. It's never too late to reach out to people. It's never too late to connect. Create spaces for meaningful conversations. Can spirituality and profit coexist harmoniously? I think so. Absolutely. Align your pricing with the value that you offer. Ensure your business thrives while honoring your spiritual values. Let's explore some unconventional strategies. <laughs> Infuse energy into your marketing materials. Trust your intuition that often knows best, sometimes even more than research. Incorporate spiritual rituals into your routines, your daily routines, your content, your marketing, your physical products. Your mindset shapes your reality. Shift from scarcity to abundance. When I embraced abundance mindset, opportunities flowed effortlessly. And remember, your business is an extension of your spiritual journey. Embrace the mystical in your marketing endeavors and watch as abundance flow. Now, let me see you put one of the strategies into action. Choose what strategy we've discussed today and try it out. I'd love to hear how it's working for you. What's the biggest challenge you face in marketing your spiritual business? Drop a comment below and let's start a meaningful conversation. If you found this video helpful, then you'll enjoy how to market your spiritual business. It goes into details on how to create captivating content and effectively reaching your target audience. And if you want more tips and support, make sure to subscribe, like, and join our community of like-minded souls. Click the link below to read the full article. Until next time, keep shining bright, and I'll see you in the next video. What do you think? Did I do good?